Let's now work out the angle sum of a heptagon. A heptagon is a seven-sided polygon. Okay, so it's not a not a not a very common um, polygon, or not as common as as a hexagon or an octagon or a, or a pentagon. Uh, nevertheless, it's still still a polygon, and we can still work out the the angle sum uh, like any other polygon. Okay, so again, we could just use the formula direct. Okay, so angle sum would be. Okay, is equal to the number of sides. Okay, so we've got seven sides. Multiply that by 180 degrees. So, and then we'll look at. Okay, so very much like the the pentagon example. Okay, why is it the number of sides? It's because we can break this shape up into seven triangles. Okay, and each one of these triangles, okay, is an angle sum of 180 degrees, and we we have seven of these triangles. But remember, the angles in the center, these ones here in blue, okay, they don't count. So they need to be subtracted out. Okay. Okay, so that's very, very important to note that. So it's also important to note why that why we have to subtract out 360 degrees. Okay, so the final answer is. 900 degrees okay so in other words if we added all of these angles up here okay all of the angles of, at the vertices all seven vertices together um, it would be 900 degrees so what would be the value of one of these vertices then okay so assuming it's a it's a regular heptagon Okay, what's the size of one angle? Remember, a regular heptagon has all angles equal. This heptagon is most certainly not a regular one because it's very, very different. Um, you know, the sides are all different, so it's irregular. Um, but the size of, of one of the angles, well, we've got seven angles and the total sum is 900, uh, 900 degrees. Okay, divide that by seven and we get roughly 128.57 okay in fact I'll, I'll uh, express the answer in in uh, exact form first so it's in fact uh, 128 and four sevenths of a degree uh, which is roughly 128.57 correct to two decimal places